Welcome to a quest for metal. Today we are doing another album ranking, and that's right, you fuckers voted for it. We are ranking the Mighty Gorguts, a band which has had a couple of different sounds in their career. There's the early kind of death metal sound, then they started to get more technical, and then they went fucking mental, and then then they started to still be mental, but not quite as mental as the album Obscura, which we'll fucking get to. So, Gorguts is a great band, not a lot of albums, not a lot of albums to get through, so it'll be a short video, but you know what we're gonna do, we're gonna rank them, and I want you guys to rank them down below, what's your favourite, what's your least favourite, which era do you prefer for Gorguts, let me know, and let's get fucking started. So, coming in last is From Wisdom to Hate, this album this album's fine, this album's good, this album is very enjoyable, but it's in the mid kind of point. It's in between Obscura and Coloured Sands, which is a very strange point to be in, because it's not quite as technical and avant-garde and jazzy and crazy as Obscura, and it's not quite as refined, not quite as catchy or as artistic as um, Coloured Sands. So it's in like the midpoint. The album is still good though, and I still enjoy it quite a lot. It just doesn't, you know, it pales in comparison to the early work, and it pales in comparison to the later work. So it's coming here. The song Wisdom to Hate is fantastic, and it's a lot slower of an album, so it is still good. I can see why people would put it higher, but for me, it's coming here. Next one, probably controversial, Erosion of Sanity. Yes, this is the older sound for Gorguts, the more death metal sound, and this album took everything from the debut, Considered Dead, and amped it up, amped up the technicality, and all the songs are a lot different, and you kind of could tell where they're going to go ahead in their musical journey from this album. The problem is the album doesn't sound as dark as the debut. The album isn't as catchy or as dark as the debut, and it's... I could tell what they were trying to do, but it's just not as as good as the debut, in my opinion. That's probably blasphemy. Loads of people love this one. For me, Considered Dead is just... The sound is e more evil. It's more darker. It's heavier. I mean, we'll get to it. But this one still has some fantastic songs and a lot of different ideas on here. Flesh! Flesh! I mean, the piano intro to Contempt to Obscurity. Oh, that's so good. It's got some catchy songs on here, I just don't think it's as catchy as the debut. It doesn't have that old school death metal vibe like the debut. It's more in line with, I don't know, say Suffocation or Cryptopsy than it is the all old school death metal bands like Death and um, Obituary and all those kind of stuff. Morbid Angel. So, yeah, Erosion of Sanity, again, it's another midpoint album. You know, it's another midpoint album. So it is coming here, maybe it'll grab me eventually, I think it's just a good album at the moment, it's not fantastic, so yeah, it's coming here, I still enjoy it, but there's better albums. And one of those better albums is Considered Dead, the debut by Gorguts, the most death metal, the most classic death metal sound they've done, and for a while, this was my number one. This has been my favourite for a long fucking time, and Erosion was probably my second for a long time. Uh, we'll get to why it changed, but this is just a great goddamn sound. It's like a slimy, cavernous, death metal ugh, kind of sound, and I fucking love it. Beautiful acoustic intro to Stiff and Cold, and what a great song that is. It's so fast as fuck, and the yummy bass in it. You can hear the bass in these songs. Holy shit, that's awesome. A lot of the melodies in this album remind me of Scream Bloody Gore, and I love that. That's like my, my favourite death album, so of course I love this album. Of course I love it. Um, they do, you know, they get more technical on Erosion, but I still think the heart is in Considered Dead. So I prefer it. I prefer it quite a bit. So I don't know what I'd rate this one. Probably like an 8 out of 10. I adore this one. But, 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 also before I say but one more time, the album art is fucking classic. I love it. I love the green kind of Gorguts text and I love the coffin. Oh, it's beautiful. If you have this number one, I'd applaud you because I have it number one for a long time. Just recently it's changed. So let's move on to the crazy shit. So coming in at the number two spot is Obscura. Obscura! This is uh, like a fucking mental patient just smashing his head into the wall. So this is like if you ask a mental patient to make a metal song, they would give you Obscura. 
because it's that mind-bogglingly mental. When I first heard this, I hated it. Second time I heard it, I hated it. Seventh time, still hated it. Only on like the tenth listen onwards, I started to see the intricacies within the songs. The melodies started getting stuck in my head. It's jazzy, it's avant-garde, it's weird, it's probably the most abrasive and most mental album you've ever heard in your fucking life. Loads of bands cite this as one of the best albums. And one of the albums that kind of inspired bands, similar to say like Ulcerate. This is like the this is like the album that, that did it. I mean the band Obscura was named from here. Yeah, I, I adore this album now. Hard to get into, but once it gets its claws in you, it will not let go until it's ripped you apart. This is not easy listening, folks. For anyone new, this is not easy listening. You would be better listening to Erosion of Sanity and Considered Dead over this one for your first time. But, these songs are so fucking good. Earthly Love. Oh my god, when he sings Earthly Love, holy shit, I think they should have put Earthly Love as the first song. Because I think that's a bit more catchier than Obscura, the song. Oh, that's so goddamn fucking good. Also, the middle of Nostalgia. Sounds a lot like Limp Biscuit or some new metal. I don't know if it's just me, but it sounds a lot like Limp Biscuit. Go re-listen to Nostalgia. It does. The midsection. So many time signatures, so many different changes, so many weird parts, very jazzy, very eclectic. It's a fucking masterpiece 10 out of 10 album. It deserves love. And it's only number two. What the fuck? What the fuck? So my number one, and there's only one left, is Coloured Sands. Coloured fucking sand. As soon as I heard this, it was my number one. As soon as I heard it, it was my goddamn number one. I didn't think they could beat perfection, and they fucking did. This is an 11 out of 10. This is masterpiece. That was 10 out of 10. This is art. This elevates it to art. <laughs> Questy's going off on one again. But yeah, go listen to this album. It does everything Obscura does, but more refined, catchier, just sounds better. Everything on Coloured Sands is like a step up from Obscura. It's a fucking step up. I know you could say the same thing from Wisdom to Hate, but I don't know. I, that one hasn't ca captured my attention as much, but oh boy, Coloured Sands fucking has. It's just as heavy as Obscura, if not more. It's a lot less crazy, but it's still very avant-garde and still very technical. It's a very classy album. There's a fucking classical arrangement in the middle to split the album up. Which they did themselves. Holy shit. It's beautiful. This album is beautiful. It's a work of art. It's one of the best albums in technical death metal. And it's one of my favourite albums in general now. So yeah, Coloured Sands is my favourite Gorguts album of all fucking time. So, what did you think of my ranking? Did you want Obscura number one? A lot of people love that. They think that's the best. Did you want Considered Dead or Erosion number one? A lot of people think they're the best. Or anything in between. So let me know if you like Gorguts. What's your ranking down below? And we'll see you again on another quest for metal.